Hello, Church of Our Savior. It is Wednesday, October 9th. I was up early this morning doing my normal morning routines, but today felt especially busy. I had to take our dog to the vet first thing. I also needed to get to the store to get supplies because as it happens, tomorrow is my turn to cook breakfast for the men's Bible study. It's also my cooking team's turn to cook for WAC tonight. So it's a busy day. And in between now and the time that we're cooking, I have lots of other activities and things I need to do, emails I need to answer. Uh, life is busy. And of course, I'm not unique. Every one of us can relate to this. We all have busy lives for one reason or another. We're all doing things and running errands and fulfilling our obligations and doing our work. We are engaged and living. I used to, at one point in my life, see all that I did as somehow separate from my quote unquote spiritual times, my God times, times that I would pray, reflect, do spiritual readings. Those times were really precious to me. And then there was all the rest of the time that was essentially in my mind, non-spiritual. I was just, I was living and doing all the things that I needed to do. But making that kind of distinction is not very helpful because that means that in my mind, at least, my times of connection with God, the times that I really felt close to the divine were, were limited. It was just a, a few minutes on a daily basis where I would have that, that set apart time. And then there was the whole rest of my life. But of course that's not true because it's not just that prayer times or worship times or spiritual and the rest of our times are not. It's all spiritual. Every moment can be a God moment. That's not an actually profound thing to say, but I remember it took me a while as a young adult to really come to not only realize that intellectually, but begin to live it out practically and to realize that everything we do, all of life, even in the busiest parts of life, are and at least should be spiritual, connecting us to God. One of my teachers in this, was a man named Brother Lawrence. Brother Lawrence was a monk in France in the 17th century. He was a lay brother, and as it happens, his job was to work in the kitchen. He was a cook, he would prepare meals, he'd clean up after the meals. That's what he spent most of his day doing. But he developed something that he called the practice of the presence of God. And for him, that meant that no matter what he was doing, he would cultivate this sense of being close to God, not just in deliberate prayer times, but in every time. So he would talk to God throughout the day, or he would meditate on a passage from the Bible, or he would thank God for the beauty of the day, or he would just allow himself to feel close to God in whatever way moved him in that moment. He just cultivated this kind of constant awareness. And, and of course, what he did was nothing new. That's been part of the contemplative practice of Christianity since the beginning. But he had a way of talking about it that was very endearing and he was such a relatable person because he was a cook. He was not, uh, he was not a bishop. He was not a hermit living off in, in the wilderness. He was just living in community, doing the chores, being busy the way people are busy but he was able to see all of that as infused with the presence of God. So much so that he would say things like this, the time of action does not differ from that of prayer. I possess God as peacefully in the bustle of my kitchen, where sometimes several people are asking me for different things at the same time as I do upon my knees before the Holy Sacrament. The ability to see God in all times is, is such a gift and it's something that's available to all of us. 
it took me a while to begin to to see that and to practice that and and of course for all of us it's, it's a it's a question of progress not perfection we all we're all growing in our capacity to do that but it's so important that we at least see that as as a goal an aim and the purpose of it isn't to be pious or religious the purpose is to be happy because we are happiest when we really are centered and rooted in the love of God. I know that, you know, on days when I forget this, when I am just being busy and um, I'm not practicing the presence of God, uh, I feel disconnected. Those are the days that I feel the most stressed. Those are the days where I get most easily frustrated. Those are the days when I'm not as happy. But in those days or those hours when I can allow myself to see that whatever I'm doing, whether it's going to the store or going to the vet or washing the dishes or whatever, as being a moment of being close to God, then I'm able to be in the present and I don't feel as flustered or as stressed and everything seems to get done and anything that does not get done, well, it's okay. It will get done eventually. I'm just more at peace and I'm happier. I see that in myself. And as I've listened to others over the years, I've witnessed the same thing in other people. What I'm describing to you is nothing esoteric. It's nothing I invented or thought up. It's just a long-standing part of our tradition, but one that is really important to embrace. It's not just moments of prayer, moments of worship that are spiritual, everything is spiritual. Everything can connect us with God, whose presence is with us in every moment. It's good to set aside specific times for worship. It's good to set aside specific time for prayer because that's helpful and it nourishes us. But one of the primary reasons that we spend a few minutes praying every day or spend an hour in worship every week is so that we can learn to live all of our lives in a prayerful and worshipful way with a sense of the immediate presence of God and all the love and the grace that comes with that so that we can thrive and we can know that fullness of life, that happiness that Jesus shows us and that Jesus wants us to have. I hope that you can experience some of that this day and throughout this week. God loves you. I love you. Peace.